and welcome into On The Go. Thinking about going someplace? Well, why don't you go right in your own backyard? The state of Alabama is full of a lot of different things. Years ago, I did an ad for the state of Alabama using the name Alabama. Alabama is lakes and beaches and mountains and much, much more. Alabama has it all. Ryan Jones for the Department of Tourism. Hey, I'll show you that ad someday. Yeah, that, that it, sounds it a, great. It won a gold medal, by the way. It did win a gold medal <laughs> oh, for state tourism. Uh, you're many, good. Many, many years ago. <laughs> yeah. but, but truly, we are very blessed in this state to have, you name it, oh, yeah. we've got it. Well, like you were saying, uh, we literally do have the mountains, the beach. We have people, uh, we have the larger cities, of course, and then we also have the cool small towns. So yes. Whether you're looking for a... Uh, a spa getaway, uh -huh. or you're looking for a neat little bed and breakfast somewhere, or a big tourism attraction, or uh, mm -hmm. just like going fishing. We got on. Well, well, we're going to have you on for four weeks. Okay. So let, let's start at the top <laughs> in Huntsville. We've got time. Or North Alabama. <laughs> we'll just come down. We'll go, we're going to go north, <laughs> and we're going to get kind of central ish, and then we'll get down to the south. Okay. Okay. That sounds great. So today, let's go north. Okay. Um, Where it could be a lot cooler <laughs> yeah. than it is here. Well, North Alabama is, is where I'm from, Decatur. Okay, oh, right. right. Okay. I, and I lived okay. in Florence. Oh, and, my gosh. Uh, so uh, there's a lot going on up in North Alabama right now. Uh, one of the coolest things is uh, over in the, uh, the Shoals area. Over in yes. Florence. Muscle yes. Shoals Sound Studio, mm -hmm. which uh, is actually our attraction of the year for 2017. Wow. nice. It just opened in January and by opening it it got redone it uh, the documentary Muscle Shoals that came out mm -hmm. a couple of years ago has been so great uh, it's it's a wonderful film if, 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 if people haven't seen it I think it's still available on Netflix you can get a DVD but it really tells the story of the, the music industry up there mm -hmm. in the Muscle Shoals area and Dr. Dre who's with Beats Electronics, saw the okay. documentary, fell in love with that, and decided he was gonna invest money and redo Muscle Shoals Sound Studio. Oh, then Beats Electronics later got bought out by Apple. They continued the commitment. Mm. But what makes this unique is they, when they, they, they retro redid it, they made it look like it looked back in the 1970s. Great, oh. Down Great. to the period furniture, the, the shag type carpet. Oh my goodness. Um, I love that. Yeah. But the other cool thing they did, um, the control panels look 1970-ish, but they actually have the most modern recording equipment, digital, mm -hmm. that's there. They even went so, uh, they had so you could look at people recording, they had obviously put flat screens. They found someone to custom do like an old TV wooden thing around them so that the TVs, oh, even man. though they were high def, yes. they looked yes. like it was like 1973. Yeah, it's like doing wow. an old jukebox. Yeah, yeah. And, and they did a whole studio that way. And they're actually recording music in it. Several groups have recorded. Mm -hmm. um, last week, Kiefer Sutherland, okay. the actor yeah, from right. 24 yeah, right. and Designated yeah. right. Survivor, right. he has a band um, that tours during the summer when he's on break from filming mm -hmm. the TV series. And they were uh, playing that night uh, up in Florence okay. at a singing, singing River Brewery, which oh, is a, a local craft mm -hmm. beer place and a, and a music venue. Right. And somebody told him in talking, he said, you know, you realize you're only about 10 minutes from Sheffield where the Muscle Shoal Sound Studio is. So they went there, toured the place, and he did a last minute like recording like that afternoon before his his gig that night there. Wow. That's um, historical. Oh, yeah. Just for people who don't know, would you share with us some of the people who have recorded there? Because it's amazing. Yeah. Um, kind of small names like the Rolling Stones, <laughs> uh, Steve Winwood, wow. um, Cher, uh, the, uh, the Swampers, the original Swampers, like in the song Sweet mm -hmm. Home Alabama, mm -hmm. they're the ones that, that formed this. Also, Leonard Skinner recorded right. there. It was, uh, it was like a who's who in the 1970s of all these different groups that came there and recorded. Um, talking about the Rolling Stones, Brown Sugar was recorded there. Um, Wild Horses was recorded there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and now, not just being a functional recording studio, but it's open for tours seven days a week. Okay. Uh, I think now that's uh, 
from like 10 to 5 or 6 that you can go and on the half hour take a take a tour through the studio. So do they charge a admission to do that? To kind uh, of yeah, yeah. 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 And okay, so it'd be a great thing for a family to make oh, this yeah. one of your little trips it's and especially if your kids are in the music at all. Oh, it's perfect. And a lot of grandchildren right. or children, they're in the music and that it's probably about you could make a day trip out of it, couldn't you? Oh yeah, Easy. yeah. and you're right there. You're right there uh, ten minutes from Florence. Okay. Uh, so then you've so got, you've got places all of, to stay. Yeah. And you've got, uh, um, good restaurants. Yeah. Uh, Tro Bridges, which is one. Uh, it's, it's on our 100 uh, dishes to eat in Alabama. Yeah, that's right. And also our. Uh, and talking about the hundred dishes, you know, we started this years and years ago right. when we were doing twelve year, or thirteen or fourteen right. year of Alabama food. Yeah, year right. of Alabama food. And. Once we started, and we started it just with uh, staff members had their suggestions, mm -hmm. and then we asked local tourism right. departments across the state, okay, if you had visitors, family coming in, where, they want to eat. where would you take yep. them that's a local restaurant? Right. And then we contacted those restaurants and said, okay, what's your dish that mm -hmm. you would want to meet? So that's how we came up with the original one. Great way well, to do it. we went out, came out with a brochure. Then we had people calling us and get said, well, you know, you got to add so and so. Well, that's yeah. right. Add so -and -so. Yeah. That's well, right. We didn't want to take anyone out. Right. We didn't want to go. Okay, now we got to we got to take out Highlands Bar and Grill because we only have a hundred. <laughs> um, so we we added. So now instead of a hundred, it became like a hundred and fifty, two hundred. I think now we're like two hundred and forty-one. Wow. But the name was so it's great. But the, so great. it's still called a hundred dishes. Good. But you let yeah. it go from there. That's Listen, fine. we get you come back <laughs> next week. Yeah. We want to talk about the rest of the state. Remember this. There's a valley worth of things you can do in this state. Just dip into it and see what's there for you. And we'll be right back right after this.